Hello YouTube, um, I just wanted to show you my pumpkins, pumpkin plant I got here. Uh, I did make a video last night on it, but it was getting late and it was kind of hard to see everything. So let's show you what, guys what we got. Uh, so we got one pumpkin here. This is not ready to pick yet, but getting there and these pumpkins don't get too big they stay pretty small um, they're not whatchamacallit they're not uh, jack-o-lanterns they're sweet pie pumpkins so they stay they're supposed to be small they're actually bigger than than usual but then for the type of pumpkin it is but it's doing great and I'm gonna leave it on the vine until the end, until I guess September, and then we'll pick it, and it should taste good. Uh, I got another one here. My garden's just doing it excellent this year. All the fertilizer and rain that it's been getting has helped it out a lot. Oh yeah, there's a pumpkin here. Uh, this one's doing great. Very excited. Let's see, we got a cucumber here. I don't know why that one's yellow, but I don't know. Um, got about 15 cucumbers from this plant this year. Um, they're scattered all over. You just have to look around and then you'll see a cucumber a lot of the time. I don't know where there's some right now. Let's, oh, there's one. Yeah. I gotta get out of here quick. Okay. Uh, where is it? I lost track. There's so many vines here. Hang on one second. Uh, Alright, guys, I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, guys, um, so yes, I did find the cucumber, it's right here. So yeah, there's a lot of them scattered around everywhere. There's one in there, I don't, they turn green when they ripen, so they start off yellow. Uh, here's one, found another one, look at that, they're everywhere, right here. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Show you guys that one. It's in the back over here. Where is it now? Oh, here it is. I almost lost track again. Here's another one. This one's huge. And there's another one. Oh my god. I didn't know I had this many on the ground right now. So yeah, this is doing great. Very excited about that. And we got the zinnias here, which went crazy. They love the, all the rain we've been getting. They're mostly red and pink, so that's nice. Lemon tree, no lemons yet, don't know why. And Let's show you my tomatoes, because last night I made the video of the garden, and you could not really see it because it was getting too late. And basically, this went crazy. I mean, this, I got this, these are all beefsteak tomatoes. You never see this many on one plant usually, in a bucket especially, because look, it's in a container in a container and this thing sips water like crazy I have to water it at least once a day and when we go on vacation that becomes a big problem and I have to bring this thing inside but this is amazing and these cucumbers are actually there's so many in one spot that they're actually crowding each other because they 
they get too big and then there's no room anymore to make more tomatoes if you think about it. These two are, um, they're all combined. They're, there's not room. But I think it'll be all right. And then there's one here. They're all huge and they, they've been on here about a month, maybe, a month. And everyone knows cucumber, I mean, tomatoes, sorry. Tomatoes take up forever to turn red. But that's okay. These are doing great. Just amazing. This is a big plant too. It's about five feet tall. It's up to my, taller than my chest. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, let's see, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys and that's this tomato plant which I don't think I showed you guys last night. Or if I did, it was getting really dark out. Look at all these flowers. Every single one of them, or almost every single one of them, will become a tomato. So I, I think that the plant's gonna have to drop at least a couple tomatoes because it's, there's no way those can all be beefsteak and fit. They're, not, they're gonna just crowd each other out. There's gonna have to, it might be too many. Uh, I don't even know if the plant could support like 50 beefsteak tomatoes. We'll see though. I'm gonna let them stay and we'll see how it does. I mean, we got a lot. I don't like that these are laying on the ground, but but I don't know. I don't know. It's doing great. And this plant actually fell on the ground, but now it's gr trying to grow back upwards. But I'm gonna leave it. It's doing doing great. And we also. Wait till you see this. We got uh, wild tomatoes here. This is wild. I did not plant this. This just grew. It's like volunteer tomatoes, meaning I did not plant them. They just grew all by themselves. I don't know how. I, don't, I never planted them. But they're growing. I would assume they're not beefsteak. They're probably cherry tomatoes or something. But, oh, look at that got some tomatoes on it. They look like cherry tomatoes to me. Not really sure though. We'll see what we get. It's a mystery. So that will be interesting. And yeah. Got my artichokes here. These are almost ready to harvest. They're getting pretty big. So that's good. Wow. The mosquitoes out here are, are terrible. I'm getting bit alive by them. They're, they're really bad. Um, but yeah. That pretty much summarizes this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.